What a mess. <laughs> Look at him run. It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the quarry women out of hiding with a bike. Ross, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Looks okay for an aftermarket part.
No. here. We got your hats. We got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. <clears throat> what can I get you? Why are all the lights down here? We got a demolition derby tonight. First prize is a vintage Corley hardtail. Completely restored by the old man himself. Yep. What's this big arena doing way out here? Corley built the Smashatorium so his employees could have some wholesome entertainment nearby. He sure took care of his employees. I got no idea what's gonna happen to us now that he's gone. Seen any vultures around here? Nah, we don't have much of a vulture problem here. Even though their hideout is right up the road. They stay pretty much locked up in there. Not very social. I'm looking for a good souvenir. Well. Good souvenirs is all I got. What can I fix you up with? Something small, furry, and yellow. Sorry, this is the only set of teeth I got. <laughs> Dang, there goes another one. How about that little car there? It's small, but it's not cheap, my friend. You better just take it for a test drive to make sure. Bunnies, and plenty of them. You want bunnies? I got your bunnies. How much you got on you? Um, can I just take them out for a test drive? I think you may not be ready for the kind of commitment that comes with a Corley Bunny value pack. Sorry, son. Those, uh, shirts come in extra, extra large? Eh. Eh, no. But they're pretty shrunk. No thanks. What do those pennants say on them? Can't beat a Corley, they say. Kind of ironic, actually, considering how he died. Still, look great on your bedroom wall. No walls. My bike is my home. We could set you up with a little pole so you could uh, make a flag, you know, for your back seat. I'll, uh, think about it. Do you actually have any money? As much as I need. What's in the hat? I don't know. Came filled with it. Probably some sort of packing material. Packs a punch, I'll tell you that much. Looky here, nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. Drive your own derby car by remote control. All right, let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe you. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. Lovable, lovable little bunnies. <coughs> sure, sure, take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great, you killed the batteries. It's out of juice. We got your t-shirts here. All sizes and colors. Fill it. No. No, ma'am. You'll be keeping cold and looking bold. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Uh, you, big fella! Come give our derby car a spin! <clears throat> One case of bunnies, please. Alright, let's see the cash, amigo. I'll owe ya. Well, the Corley Bunny Value Pack is a cash-only ticket, bro. So, right when you get work, eh, sonny? <laughs> Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. I'm not putting my lips on that. Hmm, no. It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way. It's the exit. It only spins one way, and it's the wrong way.
Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. I'm here for the shareholders' meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. Yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Hey, open up. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. It's meant for nuts. I'm saving that chain for my friends on the old mine road. I'm saving that chain for my friend. It's meant for nuts. That's a little big for a souvenir. No. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> Pat the bunny. You know you want. I got a button under my toe that's wired directly into Corley Security's alarm system. Of course, I could be lying, but the question is, do you feel lucky? Lately, no. You just can't get... <clears throat> looky here, nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. That wouldn't help things. And it's cheap, too. I'm practically giving this loot away. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? It's out of juice. These souvenirs all have an expected appreciation rate of 300% per year. <clears throat> Looky here. Nothing personal, but why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. That's right, official Corlett Motors Smashatorium souvenirs. Don't go away empty-handed. Come on, give me a break. I'm practically giving this loot away. And it's cheap, too. We got it all right here. Don't crowd everybody, there's enough for everyone. Buy your kids a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> you just can't get this stuff anywhere else, folks. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Can't risk it. And it's cheap, too. We got your pennants. <clears throat> Looky here. Nothing personal. But why don't you mosey along and stop scaring away all the other customers, all right? Just clearing my throat. And it's cheap, too. Don't go away empty-handed. Don't be a cheap jerk. Buy something. I bet bunnies aren't allowed either.
Those weapons were a lot of weight. It's meant for nuts. I'm saving that chain for my friends on the old mine road. A bunny won't do much there. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. Let me in. Beat it. Jerk. We got your hats. All sizes and colors. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> A bunny won't do much there. I'm not putting my lips on that. No. No. I'm not going in there. They all think I killed their beloved leader. We got it all right here. Uh, you, big fella, come give our derby car a spin. Come on, give me a bra- Not putting it back, no. All sizes and colors. A bunny won't do much there. It's out of juice. What's a couple of bucks in exchange for a timeless memento? Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. <clears throat> One case of bunnies, please. No bucks, no yucks, compadre. the vultures hideout on the other side of this field i've heard a lot about the vultures and i guess it's all true sizes and colors. 
We got your penance. Buy your... No. That should put some life into it. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. We got your penance. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Don't crowd everybody. There's enough for everyone. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Hey, don't go in there. Now look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. Now it's just me and the bunnies. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Tidy little vultures. I don't want to set off any of these boys. I don't want to set off any of these boys. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Don't think so. Can't reach it. Don't think so. Dang, there goes another guy you back.
Hmm. No. set off any of these boys. No. I hate surprises. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, vultures! Rack him up! Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben. You're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> Corley and I... Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard! Malcolm once... I said shut up about my dad! I'm losing my temper, Marine. And you're about to lose much more. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. Your father. I said shut up about my dad. I'm innocent. You're in something, right? I'm innocent. You're in something, right? I'm losing my temper, Marine. And hey, you're about to lose much more. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Toaster loving old maid. <laughs> Let me go, or else. Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Meat farmer. <laughs> Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll get blue. 
blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How did you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I, I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So? No shareholders meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question? Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up! All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, cause it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile-Up, Doreen Schmorley! Sick of it. And finally, we have a last minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Try to get away now. That's it. All right, now. Are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Hang on, Mo. Here I come. Watch out for the Boom Boom Brothers, Mo. Get up. That car stalled when I 
bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. forever.
It's all over. Get him! What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it! Now that's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen! Can't see any survivors! Wish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere, and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kicked the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. 
What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. That kicking part is pretty vague. Look, I was only six. Give me a break. I'll never find that secret passage. Hey, Ben, can't you see I'm busy? If I could find the spot to kick when I was only six, I'm sure you can find it on your own. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. Great. Now help me find that key. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. This baby's flying days are over, just like mine. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? I'll see what I can do. Right.